What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. Wine Series Edition! Mac is standing right here and he's just looking at me all sorts of crazy and kind of angry. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this whole bottle tonight, but we'll see how it goes. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 March. I think this is the My Geek Box. It always comes in this bag because I think it shipped from the UK. Now, here's the thing. My Geek Box, it hasn't been bad. I know a lot of you guys don't really like it, especially those of you who live in the UK. It hasn't been terrible for me, but I found this new UK box that I'm thinking about getting. And I need to figure out which boxes I can actually, like, take out in order to get this other one because it's kind of expensive. So this is on the chopping block just because of that. Because it, this box isn't bad, but it's not, like, great. I'm not necessarily, like, super excited about it or anything like that, but it's a decent box. In the past, I think I kept boxes just when they were decent, but now that there's so many subscription boxes out there, and I really want to try out different ones so that I can show you guys on my channel, I just don't want to keep the mediocre boxes, you know? I want something that's going to be good. just want good boxes on my channel. Is that, is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. Well, let's see how this box does. In this video, oh, I already said that. Okay, here's the box. I unwrapped it from that black thing, oh, which I threw away, so it's, I don't have it anymore. Oh, I don't have to cut any tape because it came in a package. Once you don't cut the tape because there's no tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Whoa. Ugh. Ah. 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 I was gonna say, something's really heavy in this box and it's probably this thing. All right, let's see what this is. The first item is, uh, it's a BBC special. It's the TARDIS. That's all it says, the TARDIS. Special number one from the 11th Doctor. What is this thing? It's really, really heavy. It has tape on it, why? Oh my gosh, so much freaking tape. <sighs> okay. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's glass and it's very heavy and I th <laughs> I think it's, ew, it doesn't smell good. I think it's just a TARDIS. It's like glass, it's very heavy. I think it's just like a TARDIS that you would put, I guess, on your desk. Or like a paperweight maybe. I guess it was just like kind of one of those collectible items that they gave out or something. Um, not a bad item. Oh, not a bad item. I mean, I don't like Doctor Who, so it's not a great item for me. But I just don't really understand, like, what this thing was. Does anybody know? It looks like they only gave me half of it, too. Maybe it was supposed to come like this. I don't know, but it was a Doctor Who TARDIS. Uh, the next item that we got is World of Warcraft. It's a mystery figure, one weapon, two blocks, and a collector sheet. I'm not going to open this because I don't play this game, so I'm not going to know anything about it. I can't bring it to work, so I'm just going to put this in my giveaway. Unless my cousin wants it, then I might give it to him. Ryan, are you watching this? Do you want that? Let me know. Oh, the next item we got is a Transformers collectible figure. And this I will open because I have a bunch of different random collectible figures. I don't ever know who I got. I still don't know who I got. Let me put him on the little stand. Oh, I just got hot all of a sudden. I'm gonna start sweating soon. Ow! Ow! It pinched me. Uh, I got this guy. Who knows who this is? Let me know. He's cool though. All right, next I got, oh, I got a Deadpool plushie. Nothing fancy, but this guy's cool. Did I get something like this before? I feel like I got something like this before, but I don't remember. So there's a Deadpool plushie. I'm not sure if I, I might put him up here. It's getting kind of crowded back here. I might need to make some adjustments, but he might go back there. Or he might go in the giveaway. Who knows? And then the last time that we got is a shirt. It's a Gildan Soft Tee, soft style medium shirt. Whoa. And this is what it looks like. <sighs> the Bedlam in Gotham. So it's like their take on Batman versus Superman. The Dark Knight versus the Man of Steel. But this is not a licensed product. Friday, March 28th. So it's just like the release of the movie. Not a, it's actually not a bad shirt. I like how it's kind of like, it kind of makes references to the movie, but it doesn't actually say it because it probably can't because of licensing. All right, I have no idea how much this box costs. How much should I pay for this box? I'm like, I'm starting to sweat. Ah. Uh. Why? What is this box called? The My Geek Box. Okay. 
So I pay about $27.60, although, yeah, I think I have month to month. So $27.60 for this box. Let's do some pricing. Get my calculator out. Okay. World of Warcraft, I don't know how much this is. Be $3. $3 for that. Transformers, $3. Shirt, $10. What? How does that equal $7? Plushie, I'll give this, uh, I want to give it 4 to $5, so we'll say four fifty. Cool. And then this TARDIS, I don't know, let me look this thing up, because I don't even know what it is. I would never buy it. TARDIS BBC. I don't know, if, is this considered an ornament, guys? I mean, I wouldn't hang this from a tree, it's very heavy, but that's the first thing that keeps popping up. Maybe I'll check eBay. Let's check eBay. Whoop, well, that's Best Buy. What is this thing? Honestly, guys, I don't know what the hell this thing is. And online, the one thing that keeps popping up that looks very similar to it is this ornament thing that's going for like 30 bucks. I wouldn't pay $30 for this, but I don't even know what this thing is. What is this? It's just like a collectible thing. It's like a model of the TARDIS. So, <sighs> I don't know. I guess I would give this thing $10. Like, we'll pretend like it's kind of like a figurine. So, in my opinion, this box is worth about $30.50. So, it definitely hits its value. Or it doesn't definitely hit it. It just hits its value. Why am I yellow? Whoa. Weird. That's better. Um, it hits its value, in my opinion, plus a couple dollars extra, but nothing crazy. Again, this box, it's the same. It's kind of just like, it's an okay box, but it's not like, wow, I'm so excited for it. So I think I'm probably going to cancel this box. It's nothing that they did. It's just nothing like super exciting. It's just like an average box. It reminds me of like a Cosmo Cube or a My Geek box. It's just like one of those boxes. Like just, it hits its value, which is nice, but it just doesn't, it doesn't give you exclusive items. It doesn't give you anything where you're like, dang, that's such a good box. So I'm gonna try this new box. I keep talking about this new box, but let me tell you what the box is called. And I wanna thank Dan, cause he's the one who recommended it. It's called Geeky Craft Stuff. So for those of you who live in the UK, I think it's a UK box. And when I order it, they have like a regular one and a Harry Potter one. And I really want both, but I really want the Harry Potter one. And I know that like when I got the Collectible Geek, a lot of the things were, oh, I wish I would have let you pick your house. But on this one, you can go on there and you pick which um, house you prefer. So like you put uh, Gryffindor, you can put Slytherin or Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. So uh, I'm really excited to try to get that box. So I think I'm going to cancel this box so I can get that box. Uh, but again, this box isn't terrible. It's just nothing like fancy. It's good. It's just kind of good. It's like average. Uh, if I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a, a I mean, me personally, like, I'm glad it hits value, but I'd probably say just the 3.5 out of 5 noobs. I don't like Doctor Who, and I don't really know what that TARDIS thing is for. It's just like a glass TARDIS. I'm assuming it's just some kind of, like, a random collectible, but I have no use for it. So I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this box. I know a lot of you guys already don't like it, but... It's not a terrible box. It's just, it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want you guys to think I'm canceling it because it's bad. Because it's not bad and it shows up here and they haven't, maybe when I cancel it and if they keep charging my card, then we'll have a problem because it sounds like that's what a lot of you guys had issues with. But it's not a bad box. I just want to try something new. I just want to keep trying new boxes. I don't want to get into the habit of before where I kept all these boxes just because I had them. Like, I want to try new boxes and see how they are. So, but let me know what you thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!